Express, Chris Robbins here, junior middleweight prospect, Daquan Arnett. Arnett uh, you were in Vegas a few months ago, you scored a knockout, uh, you're back again. Uh, what are your thoughts on your next upcoming fight? you know anything about your opponent here? Uh, I, mean, I know a little bit, I've seen a little bit on my YouTube, uh, he's a decent fighter, you know. I don't believe he's on the level I'm on, but uh, you know, he, he's going to come to fight, um, I'm going to come to get a job done. And I saw last time you worked a little bit with Tony Morgan. Uh, were you with him this camp, or is he going to be here with you again? Yeah, he'll, he'll be here this fight. He's definitely always going to be part of my camp, uh, Tony Morgan. You know, I, I grew up in Andre Berto and Tony Morgan camp, so okay. he's always going to be a part of my camp, him and my father. Okay, and what about this particular camp, like, stood out? Like, how was the work that you put in? Uh, you know, well, I mean, it's not really different. We just we just picked up the intensity, picked up the levels, you know, picked, taking it to another level because... Uh, this this be my third six rounder and I'm on you know we're we're on the tail end of six rounders now we're gonna get ready for eight rounders so we're preparing for that now we just we're just picking it up every 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 camp every day we're picking it up more harder. Can you tell me a little bit about your history in boxing like where your upbringing was how you got into the sport? Uh, I, my my dad Gene Pardo introduced me to the sport of boxing literally at the age of two years old so yeah. boxing has been my whole life literally. Yeah. And uh, it just, I mean, it just feels natural. So, I mean, starting at that age, I just, it's life. And I, I'm, I'm good at it. Yeah. So, it's, it's my profession now. Now, the Florida fight scene where you came up, like, what was it like for you? Just, like, the sparring and, just, you know, just being around that atmosphere. How would you describe the scene? Uh, it was, it was, it was a learning experience, you know. It was a learning experience. I, uh, it, was, it was something like no other, being that 90% of the Florida boxing scene and amateurs is is Hispanic, yeah. And so you know, it was it was a little different for a while. I had to pick up on a couple words, but it it, it was it was something I definitely cherish. I, I very I appreciate everything the Florida Amateur Boxing System Association did for me, and you know it got me to where I'm at now. And I've seen your fights. You like you really like to work the body. Seems like you're a body puncher. And I don't know if that's true. I mean, do you like working the body? Is that? I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a boxer. I'm, I'm the I'm the total package. Total you know. Package. I'm a, I'm a boxer puncher. I can, I can go to the body. I can go to the head. I got one punch knockout power with both hands, you know. But I mean, the body is always, to me, the the most sensitive spot on on an opponent, you know. So I try to I try to expose that in the early rounds, and not, most times they can't hang with it. And you mentioned Andre Berto. What what was it like, kind of being in camps with him and seeing him, you know, all those years? I mean, it was it was surreal. It was it was yeah. it was unreal, you know. I I, I remember him. I remember being nine, eight, nine years old running to the ring to watch Andre Berto fight as an amateur in the yeah. state of Florida. So, I mean, I saw that whole process from the amateur to the professional, and it was, it was unreal. I mean, the things I've learned in the gym with him, you know, I've actually sparred him for a yeah. couple of camps, so it's, it's unreal. What is it like sparring him? I mean, is he one of your toughest, you know, sparring? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. He's, I mean, the toughest sparring I've ever had and probably will for a long time. Uh, I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We get in, we get in good work. And he's looking kind of for a comeback, you know, he had the Ortiz kind of fall out. Do you think he's going to surprise a lot of people later with his next fights and stuff? Absolutely. I mean, I don't think he's going to surprise the true fans because they know what, what Andre Berto is and what he does. But, I mean, you know, he's, he's got a lot of doctors now dealing with the last situation. But, you know, I was in camp with him. I know what he's capable of. And, I mean, he's not going to surprise me. I know. I know he's a force to be reckoned with. All right, Daquan, how can fans reach out to you, man? Oh, you can you can follow me on Twitter, at Daquan Arnett, and on Instagram, at Daquan Arnett. I'm also on Facebook, at Daquan Arnett Pardo. And, uh, you know, hit me up, follow my career, man. I'm, I, I appreciate all the support. Orlando, Florida, I love you guys. All right.